What up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Melvin TV, coming back at you with another one. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. We're going to get right into the video. This is going to be a lengthy one today. It's no short or no real type length. We're going to go into depth of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. And the title of the video is Are We Destined to Destroy Ourselves? Are we destined to destroy ourselves? And we're going to read you guys a, a few Bible scriptures to go with that and they're like oh he about to read bible scriptures i guess i'll click off <laughs> <laughs> no man embrace that just check out the message hey you never know you may take something from it anyway we're going to read from second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 and it says from the king james version if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal the land. But see the land we live in today, especially here in the US, no one really wants to turn from their wicked ways. A lot of people have stopped praying. A lot of people have stopped seeking the face of God or, or the Messiah. They're out doing their own thing. You know, they're out doing what thy wilt. That's, that's, that's the order of the day. That's what, that's what everyone is doing now. You know, everyone's doing their own thing. You know, um, they doing it without no fear of consequences. There are any fear of consequences. You know, some guys do things. Okay, yeah, they go to prison. Okay, I, I guess that's the consequence. But I'm talking about the ultimate. You had to stand in judgment. No one seems to be afraid of that. They just out doing their thing. <laughs> you know, and they following all these different trends and all these different cults. And a lot of times the things about it, though, bro, a lot of times you don't even know you are following that stuff. Because it's in the music, it's in the commercials, it's on all the movies, it's on all, all the music videos, it's on all the award shows. Every time they have a performance, there's some kind of satanic crap going on in the background. Anytime they have a Super Bowl halftime performance, there's more crap going on in the background. And it's digging into your subconscious. You just don't know it. You just don't realize it. You just think you're watching something. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, you're watching it, but there's meaning behind it. They, these people that are in power, they put a lot behind that. So you can be subliminally caught into their web, into this web of darkness. You can flee and you can flee from the light because a lot of people like to dance around in the dark. They don't want to be in the light. The dark is where they feel safest. The light is going to expose them. So they don't want to be out there in the light. They'd rather be out here in the darkness doing that. We're going to read another um, scripture for you guys. It's a few scriptures is from the book of Matthew, Matthew 24 verse 6 through 13 i'm gonna go matthew 24 verse 6 through 13 and it reads as such you will hear of wars and rumors of wars but see to it that you are not alarmed such things must happen but the end is still to come so regardless of what goes on the planet the end is going to come all right verse 7 nations will rise against nations and kingdom against kingdom there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. How many times in our lifetime, if you're Gen X or new millennial or Gen Z, have we have have seen wars break out on um, on our media sites? We're not in America. We're not as, as affected, but the things that go on in the Middle East, doing Desert Storm, then the whole Iraqi war thing. Then yeah, now the thing that's going on in, in the Ukraine and other uh, parts of the world that we don't even know about that that's actually in the war right now. You know, all these things have already been pre prophesized. I right, go to verse nine. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death. And you will be hated by all nations because of me. How many times you uh, do your worship thing and people don't like you for it? I understand a lot of people. Okay, there's a lot of people out here that don't believe in Jesus. There was no letter J in the dic dictionary before 1611. Hey, I get it. If you don't want to call him Jesus, call him uh, Yahshua. Call him that. Know his name. Don't want to call him Jesus. Call him uh, Yahshua. That's it. Call him that. If you don't want to call him Jesus. Well, if you don't believe in the Messiah at all. Hey, that's that's on you. No one can force you to believe anything. That's you know you have to go to him by free will. You just can't. You no one can force you to do it. You have to do it on your own. Anyway, uh, verse 10, at that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. See that all the time as well. Verse 11, 
And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. We see that every time through your mega churches, all your big name pastors and preachers that you guys pour millions of dollars into each year and they keep promising you things. How are they gonna keep promising you things when they don't have that power? They keep putting you guys in fear, making you, okay, if you don't tithe, you're gonna be punished. You can you can tithe any way you, any way you want. I've had this discussion with, with my mother, she's a minister, and I had it with a few other people that tithing doesn't really necessarily have to go to a church. You can go to the guy on the corner and give 10%, you know? Well, they just gonna smoke it up and drink. So what? Once that money leaves your hand, it doesn't matter what they do with the money. You did your part. So don't worry about what they're gonna do with the money. And most of the times, and most of those homeless people, they'll take the money and go share with the other homeless people. That's what they usually do. And don't be surprised, more homeless people make it into the kingdom and, and the people who are well off, they're not gonna get there because they're selfish, they're entitled, all these things. How many times we've seen videos on television to where somebody, some guy bought a homeless guy a pizza. So he gave the pizza and walked off. And one of his buddies had pretended like he was homeless as well and sit next to the guy like, hey man, I, I'm so hungry. Can I please get a slice of pizza? The dude without hesitation like, man, yeah, sure, of course. Take two or three slices. I know how it is. I know how it is. Most people who well off, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it at all. They so focused on themselves and nothing else. You know, let's go to verse 12. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. Verse 13, but the one who stands firm in the end will be saved. Let's go back to 12 right quick. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. We see that every day. The... The thing for having humanity is damn near disappearing. We watch countless amount of videos on whatever social media site you want to watch them on to where people are doing inhumane things. It's like, wow, where's humanity going, man? It's like it's going out the window. You know, but why are we destined to destroy ourselves? I, I think we are, it's already been pre-written. If you go back to anywhere in that book of Revelations and start from uh, chapter one and read all the way down to the end, majority of everything going on today is in that book. It's in the book right now. Everything happening right now is in the book. We got all this stuff going on. We got man trying to play God. You know, there's rumors of people being cloned back and forth. Have we seen it? Hey, I don't know. Have we? Have we seen it? We just don't know. Some of the people looking at us every day on, on, on the news camera or whatever on social media, that's not really them. That's somebody else. If you believe in such a thing, that's a conspiracy. But if they were able to clone a sheep so many years ago, I think it was in 90, whenever, what makes you think now in 2023, they haven't cloned a human when the technology was already there for them to do it? You know, are we destined to destroy ourselves? Yes, we are, because it's already been pre-written. Women in the land won't listen to men anymore. They refuse. And if you're a man who won't stand on truth and try to say, hey, I don't really like that. You, you're not acting like a lady. You will be instantly attacked. And not only will you be attacked by the women in this land, you will be attacked by more of the simp men in this land than anyone else. I never seen so many guys just simp out. I mean, they show up there with their simp cape on, flapping in the wind. Anytime a woman do something debauchery, they go, man, man, you shouldn't do that, man. Let the sister do what she want to do, bro. You know, you you a hater, man. Yeah, you, if I was me, I'd punch you in the face. Yep, uh, Captain Simp. These guys are everywhere. These guys are everywhere. It's like a virus. It's like a virus, man. These guys walk around just being simps all the damn time. I understand that. I ought to just go get some cooch. I never seen so many guys just so desperate for cooch. Like, y'all don't have no de-discipline at all. Like, they do anything to get some cooch. I mean, anything. Like, you never had cooch before. Like, it was the first time you ever had it, you just had to keep going to, like, some kind of cooch thing, like a crack fiend or something. This is the weirdest thing ever. All these guys just simping out. Simps, simps, simps. Simps everywhere. Everywhere you turn around, you look on social media, Media, YouTube is just a gang of simps on there simping. That's all they do. Catering to women, pandering to their emotions. This is the same thing your Baptist uh, preachers do every Sunday to get you to give them money. Pandering to your emotions, tickle your ears with nice words. Therefore, the, the, the money and donations gonna come in. And a lot of guys do the same thing. They tickle your, they tickle your ears with nice words, make you feel have a, an emotional feeling next thing you know oh i really like him yeah you don't like him you just like the nonsense he's telling you that's it and once he see with you a couple times he's gone and he's on to the next anyway man this is your boy mr melvin tv like i say are we destined to destroy destroy each other or do we, are we destined to destroy ourselves rather uh yes we are 
Yeah, we are, <laughs> you know, whether we like it or not. You know, the end is coming because there's too much going on right now. Too much going on, too much darkness. Uh, people got dark spirits. Um, they just have darkness walking around with them everywhere they go. Everywhere they go, they always speak it negative. Every time something happens, they look at they look for the bad parts in it. They don't ever look at the good. If you if you are a content creator and you make several great videos, they don't comment on nothing. They just hang back in the clouds and watch. Then as soon as you make one video that make them triggered, here they come. Here they come. They coming into your coming into your chat box on ten. Just ready to be in their emotions and ready to be triggered. Anyway, it's your boy, Mr. Melvin TV, man. If you like the video, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you feel the need, drop your boy Cash App at dollar sign Mr. Melvin. That's capital M R capital M E L V I N N. Until later, holla back. Deuces.